Hi, I'm Melanie McElroy with Taurus Training for Expert Village, and today we're going to talk about training dogs. And we're going to teach Shira how to lie down. We've already worked on the name game and the sit, and if you haven't already, please take a look at those videos before you try to teach your dog to lie down. <laughs> sit. Good, very nice. Shira is a very attentive dog, so she will probably be very responsive to me just using my body language to show her how to lie down but I'm not sure. I'm going to set her up to succeed by using food as a lure first. She knows what this tree pouch means, by the way, so I'm going to hide it. <laughs> so she knows I have food, and I'm actually going to lure her, take her nose to the ground, down, good. Now, see how she's kind of on her haunches? That is not ideal. Good. We really prefer them to be over on one hip. One reason is that when dogs are in kind of that sphinx position, that crouch, it's really easy for them to pop up and it makes this stay much harder to learn. It's also prettier and more comfortable for them and more likely for them to stay when they're over on one hip. Okay, so I'm gonna try that with the food, but this time to be random, we won't give it to her. She's thinking about it down, good. Now, because that took a little while, I went ahead and gave her the treat. Okay, so I want to speed her up using food as a lure, so I'm going to use a more palatable treat. Sit. Good. Uh, so there, I want to lure her back into a sit and then take her down. Good. Okay. Now, Sit. I'm going to try just using some body language with Shira and see what happens. Down. Good. Oh, that must be how her daddy taught her to lie down. Okay, that's very nice. Down. Good. So see, she was responding just to the hand signal. Okay. Down. Good. Very nice. At this point, we need to start fading the hand signal and fading the lure. If you haven't already, please take a look at that video and we'll move on to teach Shira how to stay in a down.